diagnosis of ovarian cyst the first is magnetic resonance imaging this magnetic resonance imaging is when a dye is poured into your service so that when the dye moves into your service it cannot take the image of your service and then the uterus and know what is going on there so when this dye is put there and then all the images are taken that is now when the position and then the size of your own ovarian cyst will be discovered another is pelvic test when you are experiencing all these features you have to go for a pelvic test you can as well go for an ultrasound scan through the scan the doctor will find out what is going through in your body whether it is ovarian cyst or not so you have to undergo all these tests so that the doctor can know the presence and then the size of your own ovarian cyst and then you yourself will as well know then you have to bear this in mind that some of the ovarian cysts can go away on their own without any treatment while some who may be termed as being stubborn will remain there will persist until they are treated another thing we should consider is the choice of surgery what should this choice of surgery be the choice of surgery should depend on one if you are aged if you are aged then you consider if the ovarian cyst is not paining you you cannot go for the surgery you have to live with it because it has no much side effects like that provided you are now aged okay then another thing you have to consider when you go for your choice of surgery is fertility intention yeah are you still willing to give birth again if you are still having the intention of giving birth again that is when you should consider going for a surgery if not you have to avoid going for the surgery